Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Cars, Hot Cars, Cool Motorcycle dot com Ford Mustang Original American Pony Car. Ford Mustang American Original Pony Car. All right, we're gonna start with the Ford Mustang sixty four and a half. The Mustang brand was established on April twenty seventh, nineteen sixty four. This model is also known as a 1964 and a half since the car was released to the public mid-year. The original cost was $2,368. The car was produced and manufactured in Dearborn, Michigan. <clears throat> the Mustang was most successful Ford brand since the Model A way back in 1903, 1904. The reason Mustang is classified as a pony car is because of the design of the body, a long hood, and a short rear end. The Mustang created the pony car class and was followed by Chevy Camaro, Pontiac Firebird, Dodge Challenger, and now legendary AMC Javelin, Plymouth Barracuda, and many other, including Ford Capri, imported from Germany, and the Toyota Celica. Here's a picture of the original 64 coupe. Ford Mustang, American original pony car. There are six generations of Mustangs with many paint engines and transmission combinations, not to discount the Shelby high performance versions produced beginning in 1965 and phases up to now in 2016. <coughs> Excuse me. Mustang has been in constant production since 1964. John Nahar and Philip T. Clark have been credited for the name and the original design of the Ford Mustang. On the other hand, there is another story that tells Robert J. Egbert came up with the name, the name based on the title of a book, The Mustang by Frank J. J. Frank Doby. Two companies in Europe named Krupps Trucks and Chrysler mopeds were using the same Mustang name on various vehicles. Ford was offered the Mustang name from Krupp for 10000 but did not accept the offer, so the Mustang was sold as the T5 until 1978 in Europe. First generation is from 1964 and a half to 1973. Second generation, 1973 to 78. Third generation, 78 to 93. Fourth generation, 94 to 2004. Fifth generation, 2005 to 14. And the now sixth generation, 2015, till whenever they decide to complete that run. Lee Iacocca and Dull and Frey headed to the Headed the T5 that was called early in development. The car was designed and developed in 18 short months from concept to design and final product. The Mustang was developed as a mid-engine two-seater, then later changed to the two-seat and rear bench as we know it now, because the Thunderbird was a two-seater and had failed with poor sales in 1955. Mustang used many parts, also used in other cars, like the Falcon and Fairlane, in order to reduce costs for manufacturing. Dealerships also benefit from reducing inventory stock parts due to the popular Mustang model, common internal parts. Cost of the 1964 and a half was $2,368. The engine was 260 cubic inch V8 and was later replaced with a 289 V8. Some early models came with a 176 cubic inch D6 from the Falcon, which became the Mustang. After 18 months, Ford had manufactured more than 1 million Mustang. 1968, Mu Mustang had an optional, optional 302 V8 engine added. The, the 1969, the GT was discontinued the Mach 1, Boss 02, and 429 became available. Some pictures of it. Second generation, 1974 to 78. 
The idea for the second generation Mustang was to be designed like the Ford Maverick. So Mustang would be smaller and lighter, but instead <coughs> used the Ford Pinto subcompact design. During 1973, the, the small size Mustang competed against small imports such as Toyota, Datsun, Mercury Capri in the small sports coupe market. This is the time the world was in the oil crisis. The King Cobra showed up in 1978 and was marked with the classic Ford V8 on the front fenders. Engine and transmission. Starting in 1974, the Mustang came with a 2.3 straight 4 from the Pinto and a 2.8 Cologne from the Capri. 1975 reintroduced the 302 5 liter with C4 transmission. That was an automatic and power steering and brakes. This was used until 1978. Other transmissions were the RAD 4 manual and the C3. The Mustang Ghia was the heavier and more luxurious model with more interior sound baffling and thick panel of vinyl roof. It also came as a hatchback. Third generation, 1979 293, which is a lot better than the one you put it in the early 70s. The third generations were built on a platform that was shared with Ford, Burma, and the Mercury Zephyr. This made for the interior more roomy for passengers, the trunk, and the engine. This was the base model and only the gear was available as an upgrade. In 81, the Cobra was reintroduced with power door locks, tilt steering, and speed control and body mods to make it look more sporty. Engines included the 2.3 from the Pinto and the German 2.8 V6, as well as the 5 liter V8 Windsor, which was a two barrel car rear. The 2.8 V6 was replaced after they ran out of motors due to supply issues. The new 3.3 straight six replaced them. <clears throat> a 2.3 turbo came along and had the power of V8 with better fuel economy and a great speed sport package. It was a four-cylinder engine. And that year, in 79, 10,478 Indianapolis pace car models were produced after Mustang was chosen in 1979 to be the official pace car. After the oil crisis, in 79, the 50 was reintroduced and along came the 4.2 V8 less horsepower, 120 horsepower and a three-speed automatic. In 81, 3.3 liter turbo was the only real performance choice you could get, and it was always having issues with internal oil flow and some engines were catching fire. Then it was discontinued in the U.S., but that engine was still available in Canada. 1983, the 2.3 returned in the turbo GT with T-roof and traction lock transmission along with sporty decals. There was also the Cobra model with different grille and body modifications. 1982, GT returned with 5 liter, 160 horsepower, 5 speed manual with the recycled badges from the 1979. Also available was 4.2 V8, but this would be in the 4.2 liter with automatics last year for the Mustang. In 1986, the Mustang featured electronic fuel injection as the carburetors were phased out. Ford was going to change the Mustang to a front-wheel drive in 1987, but Mustang fans overwhelmed the company with email, or email, they didn't have email in. And then the Mustang got a facelift and remained in the Ford stables. The Ford that was destined to become the new front-wheel drive Mustang based on the Mazda MX-6 then became the Ford Probe. Fourth generation, 1994 to 2004. Mustang was redesigned for 1994 and you can no longer get a hatchback model, but st still the Fox 4 frame as the previous, using the Fox 4 frame as a previous generation. Wow, tongue tied. The base model came with 4.6 V6 with 146 brake horsepower, 
hundred nineteen ninety five. That doesn't make sense. Increased to 110 with 5 speed manual or optional 4 speed automatic transmission. <coughs> Ford retired the 5 liter 302 after 30 years and replaced it with the 4.6 250 horsepower. Later in 1998, increasing the horsepower to 225 brake horsepower. 99 came with some new body styling but remained basically the same. 3.8 V6 got more horsepower, 198 brake horsepower. Thanks to some changes to the head of the motor. The GT motor was increased to 260 horsepower. 2001 Bullet model was introduced in 2003-2004. The Mach 1 became made a comeback and the Cobra was the first to have independent rear suspension. Here's the bullet right there. 5th generation. 2005 to 2014. 2005, the new D2C body and frame cut out, designed with the help of Mario Andretti. The new Mustang was looking retro, like a late 60s fastback model, my favorite. Assembled in Flat Rock, Michigan. 2005, 10 base models had a 4 liter 6 single overhead cam shaft and a 210 horsepower V8. It had 4.6 Cylinder overhead and 300 horsepower. Both had 5-speed manual and 5-speed automatic. 2010 model got a new body modification resulting in better fuel economy due to the reduced wind drag. GT got more horsepower and the 350 in 2011s get a 3.2 liter, 3.72 liter, 270 CI V6 and 205 horsepower. GT model got a brand new 332 valve 5 liter V8 with 412 horsepower electric power steering as well. <clears throat> 2011 Mustang got a 3.72 liter engine which is 227 cubic inch for a V6 and a 3, 305 horsepower. GT models get a brand new 3 32 Vela 5 V8 with a 412 horsepower electric power steering. 6 speed manual and automatic. Shelby GT500 new engine design was later due to the aluminum block at 102 pounds less. It can produce more horsepower with its supercharger, a massive 550 horsepower, and 510 pounds of torque. The 2012 Boss 302 was brought out with 444 horsepower and 380 pound, foot-pounds of torque. The body was pure street racer with no, no back seat and a roll cage in its place. 2013 Mustang got a facelift with a new grille, air intakes on the hood, LED rear tail lights, and a cosmetic back deck lid on the trunk all, of all models. The GT gets more powerful V8 going from 500. 412 to 420 horsepower. Sixth generation, 2015 till now. Design process began, began in 2009 with code name S550. Began production July 14, 2014 in Flat Rock, Michigan. Introduced in spring 2015 as the 50th anniversary of the Mustang in constant production since April 17, 64. The sixth generation was released worldwide with both left hand and right hand drive models. Engines available are the 3.7, the 2.3, the 5 liter, and the 5.2. Transmissions are 6 speed manual and 6 speed automatic. Interior has all the amenities of a, of, an, of a European sports car and a few more to boot. Pros of this car, plenty of horsepower with lots of all new body interior styling. The 6th generation Mustang is sure to get the looks as you drive down the street in this beauty. Cons, not a true family car, but if you want to go on a short trip or for your daily commute, it's fine. Not great for fuel economy. I don't think that you might, that's why you buy a Mustang to begin with, in my opinion. Well, that's, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Have a good night.